The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not give what is holy to dogs, and do not throw your pearls before swine, or they will trample them underfoot and turn and maul you. In everything, do to others as you would have them do to you, for this is the law and the prophets. Enter through the narrow gate, for the gate is wide and the road is easy that leads to destruction. And there are many who take it, for the gate is narrow and the road is hard that leads to life, and those are, there are few who find it. The Gospel of the Lord. an invitation for all of us to reflect on the images that the Lord provides to us in the gospel today about the gate. The wide gate, which is the road to destruction and the way to destruction, and the narrow gate, which is difficult at times, hard, but the one that leads to life. And the key for us, we know how difficult it can be, and we know the nature of the calling that is given to us, but the narrow gate is the one defined by the Lord. It's the narrow path, let's say even, but it's the narrow gate. But the gate is the one, we're there, we're with Christ itself. And regardless of its difficulty or of its challenges, by being at the gate or on the path itself that he defines for us, we know in our hearts that we're following and with Christ himself. And that difficulty maybe doesn't melt away, but it certainly puts it into a perspective and allows us to see that he really is the goal. And just to see also the magnificence of the invitation. We see that in the Beatitudes that we've reflected on more than once. What an incredible invitation to live like God, to be poor in spirit, to be meek, to be humble, to be peacemaker. All these things that we fall and sin against so often, but we strive again and again to fulfill because they give us the very life of Christ himself. And this is the gate and the path and the way that leads not just to God, but to life itself, and to know that happiness by being and living it and accepting that invitation is almost a richness in itself. It's beyond compare. Brothers and sisters, as always, let us stand now and offer our petitions for a Mass. We pray for the special intention that this Mass is being offered for. The request is for K. Farrelly Vaughan. We pray to the Lord. We pray also, as we've been doing, for our own intentions that each one of us brings to the Mass today. Those here present in the Church and those with us on live stream, we pray to the Lord. Continue to pray for all those affected by the residential school issue, which is still burning in people's hearts and aware from the grace that God gives to us. We pray for all affected in any way. We pray to the Lord. We continue to pray for the end of the pandemic all those who care for the sick, all the sick themselves and those recovering, we pray to the Lord. And we pray for all of our dead, those that will die today, the members of our family who have given us the faith and the example of teaching, we pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, continue to send your grace to us. Define for us the gate and the path that is the way to life and give us the means and strength to follow you. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.